Um, people who played around with this uh, example script uh, noticed that uh, while we are checking whether the value that the user, this script actually showing, um, while we are checking whether the, the dollar colors dollar num was defined or not, we didn't do any checking whether this uh, dollar num is even a number. So the user could just come in and uh, type in blue, uh, thinking that that's what we are expecting instead of the number. And then uh, we would try to look this up and because this is a string, but we are looking expecting here a number, um, right? This is an index. So Paul will look at it as a number. But if it starts with a letter, then the value, the numerical value of it will be zero. So it will be indeed blue in this case. But uh, if the user types in yellow, it will be still blue. And if the user types in brown, it will be still blue. And if you're painting your house based on this, then probably it's not a, it won't look really nice if you select white somewhere and paint it blue. So it would be better to check whether this uh, thing, the dollar num, so before even checking this, check whether this num is, is a number. And um, Perl doesn't really have a concept of is a number because, um, well, it's hard to define what is really a number. But there is a similar thing in Perl and it's called looks like number. So you can actually check if something looks like a number um, because it's probably because you, you in Perl we don't uh, make a difference between a string that is like three uh, or three point seven or doesn't really matter uh, because in numerical operations we automatically it automatically uh, transfers it to to the corresponding number. So what we care about is whether the thing that we got whether it looks like a number. So in numerical operation whether it will behave as a number or whether it's uh, a partial trans translation so it will give a warning. So a, f a module called scalar util has a function called looks like number and at first I'll have to explain this one but let's let's see we have now this extra function and then here this is the whole all the change that I made here before actually check checking whether the colors dollar num is defined we are checking whether the num looks like number. And if it looks like number, then we are also going to check this. If this already fails, because the dollar num is not a number, it doesn't look like a number, then uh, this expression will already fail and an else part will be executed. It doesn't explain, we, in this case we won't explain what the problem is. You might want a, a more robust uh, way of checking things and, and giving better error messages. But in this example, I just wanted to show how you to use this. So, Perl has lots of lots of functions, but there are even more functions uh, in external modules, what we call modules. And some of these modules, a few of them, are coming with standard Perl. Uh, others you will have to install from CPAN. And this is the first module uh, that we see in our class. It's called Scalar Util. It has two names. Uh, and it's uh, separated with, with uh, double con. But uh, in order to use it, we first have to load into memory. And the way we do it is we write use and the name of the module. And then here we list all the functions we would like to import from that module. That module has, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 functions. But we don't care about all the rest. So we just import one specific function. And this is the looks like number. And if you recall QW, is just quote word is just creates a list of all the words that are in this in the parentheses in this case that's only one word so this will load the scalar util module and import the looks like number function of it 